Hello, I am Dr. Priya Pillay, Assistant Professor from Department of Clinical Nutrition and Dietetics. In this lecture, I am going to introduce a topic about role of microorganisms in food industry. When we talk about microorganisms, not all groups of microorganisms are of equal interest to food microbiology. As it is evident that bacteria come very much on top of the list with molds and yeast almost of considerable importance and virus less so. Protozoa and algae have minimum direct impact on the production, processing and consumption of food. Since 1980, our understanding of the importance of microorganisms in food has greatly increased. Their role in food can be either desirable such as food bioprocessing or undesirable such as foodborne disease and food spoilage. They are discussed further under the heading number one foodborne disease, number two food spoilage, number three food bioprocessing, number four food additives, number five food biopreservation, number six probiotics. When we talk about foodborne disease, many pathogenic microorganisms can contaminate food during various stages of their handling between production and consumption. Consumption of these food can cause foodborne disease. It can cause large economic loss. Food of animal origin are associated more with foodborne disease than food of plant origin. New methods are also being developed to effectively and rapidly identify the pathogens in contaminated food. Now when we talk about food spoilage, except for sterile foods, all food harbor microorganisms. Food spoilage stems from the growth of the microorganisms in food or is due to the action of microbial enzymes. With new market trends and consumer desire for food that are not overly processed and preserved has greatly increased the chance of food spoilage with new types of microorganisms. New concepts are being studied to reduce contamination as well as control the growth of spoilage of microorganisms in food. Now when we talk about food bioprocessing, Many food grade microorganisms are used to produce different types of fermented food using raw materials from animal and plant source. In addition, novel and better strains are being developed by using genetic engineering techniques. When we talk about food additives, they are substances added to the food to preserve flavor or enhance taste, appearance or other qualities. Microbial enzymes are being used to produce food and food additives. Now, by employing genetic engineering techniques and using diverse microbial sources, enzymes of high purity and activity are obtained. When we talk about food biopreservation, antimicrobial metabolites Example, bacteriocins and organic acids like acetic, propionic and lactic acid of desirable microorganisms are being developed and used in food in place of preservatives of non-food origin to control pathogen and spoilage microorganism in food. When we talk about probiotics, it is derived from Greek word which means for life. It refers to microorganisms and their culture products which contribute to the intestinal microbial 
flora thereby benefiting the host by protecting against disease and indirectly improving its nutrition thank you so much for your listening